We are team The Mighty Few, made up of Morgan, Samantha, Leia, Paige, Sham, and Kevin. This is our midterm finger puppet management presentation for our TV show in Principles of Management, Summer 2017. For our TV show, we wanted to choose something common and relatable so that after watching, the viewers could take these concepts and apply them to their own lives, especially future students of Principles of Management and future managers for everybody in the industry. So we figured why not use common recognizable icons in a situation or environment that anybody could come across. So we chose an Avengers Gym. As you might know, the Avengers is made up of very strong-headed and individual personalities. This is great, but when it comes to a management position or environment, this can cause a lot of butting of heads and differences of ideas. In our gym, there are lots of machines and weights, and one important thing of a gym is to keep the place clean. Well, with all these different characters, they have a hard time deciding how they should do things and the way things should be executed. We hope that the situations in this show that our characters run into will help you evaluate when you're in a similar situation and come out on top. Meet our manager, Nick Fury. He has hired four talented employees, Wanda, Steve, Tony, and Sam. I'll introduce you to them in a minute. In each episode, Nick constantly comes across problems between managers having different ideas about how to clean the gym equipment. Usually Tony and Steve are the ones butting heads, leaving Wanda and Sam out to the side, leaving just confused and angry coworkers, which can harbor a lot of negativity and ultimately be the downfall of a strong put together team. So let's meet our characters. First is our general manager, Nick Fury. He is very kind, which is a great quality for a manager to have, but he's also stern, which enables him to get things done. He's a great listener, He's also calm and confident, which gives him the very great ability to break up fights between Tony and Steve when they disagree about things in the gym, and also the ability to take the negativity from that situation and make it a positive, as well as including the thoughts and ideas of Wanda and Sam as to not make them feel like they're left out. Nick is the ideal manager as long as he uses these great personal qualities to execute decisions that are fair and also beneficial to the company. Our next character is Tony Stark. He is very intelligent, but the way he goes about doing things can be a bit overwhelming. He's pretty hard-headed and overconfident, so he believes that all his ideas are right and should be the way that the gym executes its routine. Luckily, he likes to be efficient, which really aids in the reputation at his workplace. But the way that he acts towards customers is less than satisfactory and could really cause a lot of damage to returning customers or gym members. Therefore, Nick's challenge is to give Tony incentives to do better in the workplace and to change his attitude about things, at least while he's on the clock. You could say he's a problem child. On the other hand, there's Steve. He's on the opposite end of the spectrum as Tony because he is more of a kind-hearted, social person. He can create conversation with almost anybody, which gives him a leg up on the other employees because he's constantly bringing new members into the gym. He can also talk to anybody there at any time and is always willing to help. He's a great listener, which is super important in a workplace, and he's also kind-hearted and dependable. He would never miss a day of work, and he'd probably cover your shift too. He has the best management skills out of all of our employees because he could run the place effectively. The recent disagreements he's had with Tony, however, have really been tampering with his image, especially to the other employees that see these arguments happen. But who sees these arguments? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's start with Wanda. Wanda's the shy one on the Avengers gym team, which is fine. But when it comes to communication, she's lacking a lot of skills and this can lead to even more problems because she could try to help Steve and Tony solve their situation but completely come off the wrong way and make yet another conflict that needs to be resolved. She is very kind though towards others and that can get her very far. 
Because of her kindness, organizational skills, and problem-solving abilities, she is able to help Nick see more possible solutions for ending the arguments between Tony and Steve. Last but not least, we have Sam. He is calm, a good listener, very organized, and has amazing problem-solving skills and communication skills. He would probably be the next in line for being manager because of the way he is using his situations around him, negative or positive, to build himself and his skills and his reputation in the workplace. He decided to use these skills to show his ultimate manager, Nick, how he could help find a solution to the disagreements between the other staff members. This could mean a possible promotion for Sam. I guess we'll see. In the first episode, our pilot, we went back to basics. We kept it simple with an introduction of our characters, as well as the setting and location of our series. We wanted to inform our viewers about what they would be seeing and why. Episode 2 goes a little bit more in depth. You see an argument break out between Tony and Steve. Remember how we talked about that? About how to clean the workout equipment. Steve decides he wants to use towels and Tony wants to use wipes. They each have their own reasons for why, sanitary reasons, easier, etc. They can't even get on the same page about which ones to use, so have no directions for the employees below them, Wanda and Sam. Remember, they're always looking from the outside in? Well, it causes a high level of stress, and it causes m more tension to build. The concepts in this episode would be decision-making. Which person is using the best decision-making process, or are any of them? Episode 3 talks about problem-solving. So we evaluate the arguments that are getting a lot worse. So the other employees decide, well, we're going to stop this. This is getting crazy. So everyone creates their own individual plan to try and stop the problems, but each plan just makes everything worse and completely backfires. So instead, the three of them come together to create a plan that has different aspects and ideas in it to lessen the tension between Steve and Tony. I'm sure you have a story for a similar situation that you were in. This is something that can come across in any situation, not just at work, school, home, relationships, and even more. It sounds like our characters are on the road to our success, so let's take a look at episode four. Nick sits down with Wanda and Sam to discuss a plan about how to handle the arguing, just like we talked about. They finally came to a conclusion and they all agreed on a set of ground rules that both people would get warnings and just to work it out, but not in front of the customers. Seems simple, right? Well, Steve and Tony weren't part of this process, and they don't necessarily agree, so they break out into a fist fight. Nick has to take each person, sit them down, and now they're covered in bruises and they're injured. Well, after they just come up with a solution to the problem, this kind of seems like it's pushing it. What should Nick do? What will happen next? In the conclusion to our series, Nick uses his kindness but amazing ability to manage to be stern. On the spot, after the fight, he decides that it's time to make a change of plans. Neither one of them deserves a warning anymore. They've gotten in a fight in his gym. I mean, geez. So he decides to have write-ups along with a week without pay. Of course, much protest comes from them, but nothing will change his view. They need to learn that they need to follow rules and be professional in a workplace, especially in his gym. If they continued to argue and fight in front of customers, they would be terminated. No exceptions. Nick also informs Wanda and Sam of this, and they are fine with it. His word goes. Because of the situation that happened, the team now has weekly meetings and progress reports. Nick used his level-headed thinking and managerial abilities to come to a conclusion for the argument in the first place. They will clean the equipment with towels themselves, but leave wipes out for customers to use. For the remainder of the semester, we need to create three more episodes, the conclusion to our story, as well as finalize our storyboard, create our booklet, and our final presentation for the class.
each team member has equal and all important roles to the production of our final product. At the end of this presentation, I will include who has done what so far and who will do things in the future. Thank you for sticking around for this presentation, and I hope you find our plot and episodes intriguing and want to continue to watch them.